What's good, YouTube, you stream? It's your boy Travis Sherry again. Just here checking my phone. Um, once again, it's life of a producer behind the beats. It's just uh, you know, the explanation of my life and just the journey that I've taken to get where I'm at. Um, I definitely want to make sure that you all in the car with me riding, as I put more plaques on the wall and. You know, when I win that first Grammy or that second Grammy or the fourth one, the fifth one, or the hundredth one, however I, however I do it, when I call it a day, I'm going to do it. Um, I guess one of the records I'm going to talk about is kind of a, kind of a fun one. Um, it's on Jay Holiday's second album. It's called Wrong Lover. It's featuring Rick Ross. Um, the process of that record was kind of weird. Um, you know, we were... It was during the time that we were creating a lot of records for the second album, and uh, what happened was uh, I had had a beat that was in uh, iTunes. Well, you know, at the studio we had we had a bunch of beats that were in iTunes, and I had a beat that I never knew really what to do with it. I guess you could say. Um, so uh, ended up. Um, one of the Platinum Brothers pulled up the beat, actually Adam, he pulled up the beat, and, uh, he, uh, really was like, you know, it could be flipped a little differently, and he ended up, um, getting one of our other guys, uh, Luke Austin, Luke went in on the record, and, uh, just basically took the sample out, you know, I know if you've heard Jay-Z, you know, um, you've heard uh, politics as usual. You know you've heard the, you've heard the beat before. You know you've heard the sample before. Um, no need for me to get into the sample. You know, but it's just it's one of the things where I had the sample there. I had the beat rocking with the sample. It just really wasn't. Um, just really wasn't there. It really wasn't rocking. You know the way that it needed to be rocking. Um, so Adam really went in and freaked the beat. Um, and Lou, um, Lou went in and just replayed the sample and it, and it actually, uh, came together really crazy. Um, I'll let you hear, this is where the beat was originally. where it was originally and Lou came in and just replayed the actual sample itself and uh this is how it was replayed to it and then uh you know the final product came out to this with a uh, Ross on it. <clears throat> you might need a passport for this one. So Of that record, you know, of course, Jay Holiday 
and his cousin wrote a hot record um, while we were in the studio. But uh, yeah, my involvement on that, um, you know, like I said, it was just one of those weird things where it was just like the beat had been sitting there for a really for a while. Um, and if you hear on the original, like when I originally uh, had freaked that sample, I really didn't know where it was going to go. And I really didn't have any, any destination for it. So, you know, Platinum Brothers, well, Adam, you know, and, and, and Luke really flipped flipped uh, the foundation of what I had there and uh, took it to a whole nother level. Um, I definitely didn't didn't hear it going there. So that's it, it came together really crazy. But uh, that's the behind the scenes on uh, Wrong Lover. And uh, shout out to Luke. If you ever get a chance to work with him, he's a dope, dope dude, you know, dope dude. So get ready for him. Um, and like I said, this is me, another episode of Life of a Producer, Behind the Beats. Um, that's what came together for Wrong Lover. So live your life and believe in your dreams. <laughs>